Welcome to Inespira's talk. We are again here innovating in diplomacy. Um, from the Sultanate of Oman, it's my pleasure to invite uh, to this talk Dr. Meng Wei, that is the chair of Shuk World. Originally from China, Shuk World as well, a big group, family office with multiple di businesses around multiple disciplinary and industries. Welcome, Dr. Meng Wei. And welcome again to Ines Pires Talks. This is talks, does not mean interview. Uh, it's not. It's a discussion that we'd like that our alumni of the ISPD Innovation in Diplomacy, but as well some of our members in the same network and other friends that assist this program regularly, they would like to know about China. It's not the first time we discuss China, but it's the first time that we have someone from the private sector um, that runs the whole business to have your views about China. Where is China today? Where does China come from? And how do you think will be the future of China, but as well integrated in the international environment? How do you see it? Um, thank you so much for inviting me to join this talk. And we are a group of companies headquartered in China, and we engage a lot in <coughs> international business in different sectors. Um, China in the past few years exper experienced rapid growth and I, I think at this time at this moment, we are trying to uh, participate in the transformation. In the, in the, in the process of uh, China transforming from a manufacturing hub to also become a design center. And in this process we as a private uh, company we are seeking always to making more friendships, partnerships all over, all over the world. And what about um, your, your life? I mean, you are an international person, so mm -hmm. how do you see the relationship between China and some of the countries that you lived? Yes, um, for, for, from a personal perspective, I grew up in China. I did my uh, bachelor degree in China, and then I went abroad to the US. I got my master and PhD in the US. So um, I think, firstly, uh, I think the, in some cities people did not have much encounter with Chinese people. They know very little about us. And I think one important thing is that, um, generally speaking, the, um, the, pr the, the pr proficiency of English language is relatively low than other countries. So, I think um, people uh, in other countries, they read a lot about China, but not really from a, a voice from a China person. And I think um, what we should do for, in the future is that we really speak out ourselves to let people know what real China is. And, um, um, and also China is changing. Of course, um, maybe in the past, people have some not positive impression of Chinese tourists, but it's also changing. You as Chinese, mm -hmm. how do you think and how do you feel uh, that the people uh, approach China? Do you think that is correct what they think, or is it correct, or mm -hmm. is it just based on uh, international media? What is your perception of yourself? Yes, I will give you one uh, example. Uh, when I have encounters with uh, people from different countries, one thing is that I always think so associate China with cheap quality. Mm -hmm. I think this is uh, very much wrong because uh, after decades of development, of course, uh, China is known as the world factory, but now in China, of course, we have some low quality stuff which is very cheap, but we produce a spectrum of quality, you will find the best quality and all top quality, over the top quality in China. And I think um, we just need to, uh, I think one of our efforts is also to help the Chinese brand promote to, um, to international community, to really, um, I think, I think the, the, uh, to change the people's Round of impression mm -hmm. of Chinese products equal yeah. cheap quality, and also you know um, 
The most reputed brands have all their products manufactured in, in China and the quality control is, is over the top. So do you believe that there's a lot of stereotyping still? Mm -hmm. So based on wrong old ideas, mm -hmm. what means is that the, the mindset of the community did not create the same evolution as China did mm -hmm. in terms of growth at the end of the day. Yes, um, yes I, I, do, I, I do think so. And um, we are making a lot of efforts to change that. By, um, I think, uh, one way is we need to increase the culture communication. It's very important. Uh, some, uh, some communities, internet communities, do have updated knowledge. I encourage them to come to China, to see China in your eyes. Exactly. Then you will experience China. You will change, I'm, I'm sure you will change. They will change their impression of that. When we talk about innovation and diplomacy, for us, actually, this is the point. Mm -hmm. It's actually to innovate on the skills that in the past was belonging just for an elite, and now are skills that are spread and are available for everyone that can use and is part of cross-cultural intelligence, part of our understanding about each other, without actually entering in the field of stereotyping. Mm -hmm. That is just what we think it is true, mm -hmm. what we believe. Um, actually, I think the beliefs always should be confrontated to some aspect of reality. Correct. And also, um, I think also people tend to associate China with maybe fake products. And while then, I would admit that there may have cases that happen, I think it will happen in all countries, you have that. But also, I, I want to emphasize that now China is transforming from just a manufacture, uh, manufacturing center to uh, become a design center. We, Chinese government and Chinese government pay a lot of attention to the intellectual, intellectual property rights and we protect them and want to grow and innovate and want to share our knowledge to the global community as well. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Mingwei. There's one last question I want to ask you is about the future. Mm -hmm. So about the youth, um, China is as well growing rapidly in terms of number of people. So uh, what do you think about the fear of all the world that are like small countries, mm -hmm. uh, like imagine Belgium uh, that have uh, 10 million people, you talk about Austria, 7 million, you talk about you know, uh, 40 million that Europeans uh, are very small. What is your thoughts about that? In the integration of the future of China, and the rapid growth of the population, the mm -hmm. youth, and actually the other countries in the world, in the, from Latin America up to Southeast Asia, passing through Europe. What is your views? People are scared of the Chinese. What is your <laughs> comment? Um, well, I, China is... Uh, uh, I, I, I think I should feel intimidated by China. China is a peaceful country and people are nice and friendly. I think there, maybe there, I, I, I don't want to feel, maybe impressed by the Chinese consumer power. Mm -hmm. We do have a lot of uh, you know, travelers in different countries buying a lot of things, but that's only part of it. Um, we, as I just mentioned, now with China, we not only I don't I don't represent China, but as a former private sector, um, a former perspective of a private company <coughs> in private sector, we want to so contribute to the global community, not conquering, not try to out compete, but we want to share. We now, we not only manufacture things, we, we contribute to, we have, a, a, you know, China has 1.4 billion people with so many talents that we can really contribute and share our knowledge, wisdom to our global community. So I, wa I don't, I don't want uh, the other friends in the community to feel of China is Taking our jobs, just a taker, not it's a taker. taker. It's a giver. Taking our jobs, buying off of <laughs> products, only knows how to shop luxury. Uh, it's just, 
it's a it's a very small sect, uh, how to say, um, effect, uh, only small facet of what is China, what are Chinese people. So we, um, I really encourage people to come to China to see what China, real China is, and from uh, from China we're also making efforts to um, to tell people what is real China is from our own voice. Thank you for watching. So the final is do not create wrong expectations for things you don't know. So uh, actually, if you don't know, you have to know. Uh, we should not form opinions um, without actually having the whole picture and actually listen different things is the way to create knowledge. So thank you for watching and see you next month.